Hello guys, and oh, welcome. Hello guys. Mm -hmm. Hello guys, and welcome back to your girl's channel. So, <laughs> I'm wet. Not that not that kind of wet mm -hmm. so you know it was raining outside and my dumbass <laughs> had this great idea to just run you are so dumb you are really dumb for real it wasn't my brightest moment so my hair is wet and <laughs> no, not me but that's not what you came here for it so today we are going to be doing a first impressions on the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation and oh shit the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Primer now this is already a biased video because I've watched a lot of reviews and already know how I'm gonna like this foundation but we're gonna see maybe 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 it might be different maybe maybe it might be different maybe it might be different so let's just um move on to this video First of all, um, can we talk about my nails? I just got them done. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! I went ahead and put on an extra layer of moisturizer because, like I said, I've already watched a lot of reviews and they said that this foundation is mad matte. So, ooh, plus this primer. I heard this primer is like the Becca Mattifying Primer and um, that primer has me drier than the Sahara Desert. You know, drier than a celibate woman. So I just took it upon myself to put an extra layer of moisturizer, just, just in case. Oh, I can't even open this. Where are my scissors? I know. I need to hurry up because I got, I got places to go, people to see. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not that important. I'm just going to work. Next, can't stop on top foundation. Ooh, foundation primer. This is what it looks like. I need to get myself together. I need to get myself together. What's up? Get your mask. Ah. Uh. Okay, this bitch is thick. I'm just gonna put this on my nose just for starters just to see how thick it is and how drying it is am I supposed to rub it in or pat it in I don't know I don't know I know if the Becca one if you rub that in it starts to crumble and bumble and do that dumb stuff you know we don't like to be wasteful, so I'm just gonna put the rest on my chin and forehead and hope for the best. This is dry. You see, it took all that shine away. All of it. All of it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we are primed. Let's move on to the foundation now. <sighs> Maybe it was just me. Maybe I'm just stupid, but it was the hardest thing to find my foundation shade. From the swatches, I determined that I was maybe a 16, but then I went in store to, you know, swatch. Shade number 16, and that bitch was light as hell. And then I was like, okay, so what what shade did Jackie Ina try? And she tried mahogany, but then that was too dark because Jackie's a little tan right now, and I'm not. I've been working all summer. I haven't been to Italy and so that was too dark for me swatch those two colors they were not my shade and then as I'm preparing to swatch the other colors I noticed that 16 dried down to a darker color so now I'm just even more confused long story short I settled for 16.5 which is warm mahogany and all the other ones had like a olivey shade Olive the undertone, like a neutral to green undertone. And then this was the only warm undertone, but I feel like this is going to be off. 
And then the ones after Mahogany all had a red undertone. So I was really, I was really confused. I am Confucian. America, explain! There's just a lot going on. Just too many shades for me, personally. Maybe I'm just used to having a minimal shade range. Maybe I was just overwhelmed. I think, I think I was just overwhelmed, you know? Foundation in my hand. We've established this is Warm Mahogany 16.5. I'm going to take two pumps on the back of my hand and I've already watched videos so I know to apply this two sections of my face at a time because um it dries really quickly so we're just gonna do this side of my face first see um <clears throat> uh, I feel like this shade is just like something about it is just off Maybe it's in my head. Maybe I'm just looking at it too hard. And first things first. This has a lot of coverage. Blemish wear. Dark spot wear. This doesn't even have a warm undertone to it. This looks hella cool. Where's the warm? Hmm? Hmm, Nyx? Where's the warm under the warm under tone? This is just uh, pink as hell. Pinkity pink pink. Ooh, I should have blended that quicker. Okay. This has a lot of coverage. Let's move on to the other side. And two pumps does not go a long way because I am already out. Let's try blending it in with the brush. Maybe, maybe, maybe my beauty blender is sucking up all the foundation. You know? Okay. I'm getting a lot more coverage on this side. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to be using the brush from now on because my beauty blender is just sucking up all of the foundation. Two more pumps on the back of my hand. And hopefully this will cover the rest of my face. And this foundation is but the coverage. I am amazed. Amazed. Wow. I look like a whole new bitch. I'm a whole new person. Cynthia 2. Point, mother uh Oh. How many times am I going to say this? The coverage on this foundation is just amazing. Like, if you have sins, you ain't even got to repent. Just put this foundation over your sins. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Y'all better repent because you know the devil is a lie. I'm going to go ahead and put on a second layer just for the hell of it. Oh, this, this side needs one more pop. So in total... I've used five pumps. I didn't need to use five pumps. I could have sticked to my four, but you know, I like to be a little extra. Yep, that's me. All done. So the foundation, the color. First of all, can we just talk about how dark my under circles are? Jesus is Lord. Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha. Oh my God, she's fucking dead. Like, these are already designer bags that are here. They, mm, mm, let's not talk about it anymore. Back to what I was saying. The coverage on this foundation is impeccable. There is a lot of it. I know I'm supposed to wait for it to dry. Just so I can see the real color of it. But I ain't got time. So, I finished the rest of my face. My lips are so dry. I haven't worn a liquid lipstick in a long time, so the girl needs some mm, gloss. It is currently 3.57. My baby daddy out there. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're looking like. I go hard in the paint. This is what we're looking like. My edges are still a mess. I'm still a mess. I did go ahead and spritz my face. Once with my Max Fix Plus, my mini Max. My mini Max. Fix Plus, and 
it took away some of the dryness feeling i was feeling a little bit of dry because i went ham with the powder and the foundation it's matte itself but that's not the foundation's fault it's my fault i'll be back later on in the day probably around 11 midnight ish so that's gonna be seven hours 12 11 10. that's gonna be nine hours i was about to say seven you stupid they're not <laughs> math is not my strong suit I do have a little bit of creasing around my mouth. That's not the foundation's fault. I just forgot to set beforehand. So mm -hmm. that's about normal. So everything else is looking fine and dandy. I'll be right back in nine hours. To y'all, it'll be like two seconds. So, mm -hmm. so it's currently five o'clock. It's been two hours. And this is what I'm looking like. No oils, no dewiness. We're still nice and matte. And I forgot to mention that this foundation doesn't transfer, which is a1 because all of my other foundations transfer so you see that no transfer i'm about to go into work Oof. i don't know if you can really tell because i'm in a parking garage but this is what i'm looking like anyways i'll be back when i get home i guess since i don't think i'll be able to update you on my break i still look good i can already tell i look good and i really hope they're not on some shit today because yesterday they was trying me at work Woo, I, mm, 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 I've never been so mad, but you know what? Today's another day, a new day, a brand new day. Usa, Usa from yesterday. Today's gonna be a good day. Let's see if they on some We gonna find out in a couple seconds. Bye. I'm back. It is currently 11.09 and I've had this makeup on for 11 to 9 8, 7. Let's say we put it on at 4. So I've had this foundation on for 7 hours, and this is what we're looking like. Overall, I have nothing but good things to say about this foundation. It's not as drying as I originally thought it was going to be, so that's a plus i did get a little bit oily around my nose if y'all can see that but it's not it's not too crazy update they didn't try me today at work so so overall i do like this foundation i only got oily around my nose the drying feeling kind of went away after i set my face with uh, my setting spray i just set twice because i was feeling a little <laughs> dry i set once i put all the powders on my face so like once I um, set my under eyes and the rest of my entire face with my face powder, I went ahead and set my setting spray then. Then I put on like my eyeshadow and my highlight and touched up whatever needed to be touched up. And then I put on my setting spray once again. And that kind of took away the dryness feeling. So overall, I like this foundation. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. Oh yeah, and then my smile lines did get worse throughout the day, but that was expected. If you guys enjoyed this video and my lack of energy at the end of this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section below. And for love and makeup and all things girly, please subscribe and stay tuned for... No, 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 what? And stay tuned for your girls' next video. Bye guys. Oh, jeez.